In this brief presentation, I will demonstrate some of the guidelines related to using PowerPoint effectively. There are a lot of times where a user designs a PowerPoint and there are certain rules that they are not really following and therefore instead of conveying an effective message to the audience, the presenter is missing the point on how to be effective in their presentation. So here are some guidelines. First, why use PowerPoint? Uh, because it supported, it's supposed, PowerPoint is supposed to be a tool to emphasize the message that you're conveying to the audience. If you're trying to sell a car or to sell a product, you want the audience to respond and purchase and be excited about the product and not necessarily uh, see how well you can do animations. Of course, animations can be effectively used in order for you to convey that message to them. And this works the same way in the classroom and such. Four steps for a good presentation. Of course, you need to plan it, to plan ahead on what uh, the outline will be, what the content of the presentation will be. Then you need to prepare for it. So basically sit down and uh, find the facts and find the content that you're going to pre present and uh, get to know the audience. And then once you have prepared your presentation, you need to practice it. And a good practice makes for a good presentation as well. And then you actually need to present it to the audience. One of the frustrating things is when you are in a presentation and the presenter is looking, turning their back to the audience and they are not engaging with the audience, but they are reading everything on the screen and the presentation might have too much text and such. You want to make sure that you are engaging with the audience and you're using and presenting effectively. So here are some guidelines on the design of a presentation. So basically do the outline first, even if you are going to tweak it, uh, the presentation as I have demonstrated in the video tutorial on PowerPoint 2016, do the outline first, figure out what you're going to present and what the order of your facts is going to be in the presentation. Additionally, keep the words large enough. Of course, as I demonstrated in this tutorial on PowerPoint 2016, I emphasize using graphics and using images such as smart art or other tools. But yet, if you're using text, make sure that the text size is at least 24, size 24, typically 28 or above, but 24 minimum. The other thing is limit the number of words that you put on a page, whether it's bullet points or whether you use paragraphs and such, but try to limit them. There's a rule there called the seven by seven rule. You don't want more than seven bullets per page and typically, each bullet should have the average of about seven words in it. Additionally, fancy is not always better. As you can see here in this uh, bullet, you want to stick with simple fonts, content that the users will be able to read from a distance and also be able to remember and such. Uh, remember also color combinations and graphics and make sure that everything that you utilize in your presentation, it actually has a purpose. And finally, the slides are designed to supplement your presentation and not necessarily be your presentation. And turning your back to the audience and reading from the screen, it's not going to be an effective way to present your presentation to the audience. I hope these tips will help you in effectively utilizing PowerPoint presentations as a tool to convey ideas and to sell the product to your audience and such. And if you have not checked out the full tutorial on PowerPoint 2016, please do so. It is designed so you can utilize the features and the tools that come with PowerPoint effectively in your work, in your career, and whatever you're doing. Thank you again for watching this tutorial, and I hope that it was effective and valuable to you.